Hi and welcome back to the stats show. Uh, apparently you liked it enough last time that you want me back again. So previewing Stoke versus Hull. Um, seeing as it is Hull who are away and, and with Stoke at home, Stoke really should be taking the game to the Tigers and winning this match. Hull's away record is absolutely dreadful. They've played 18 games against Premier League opposition away. They've only won twice. They've only drawn twice. They've lost 14 times. They're on a current run of 14 matches without an away win, and only one of those was a draw, so 13 losses in 14 away matches. It's looking good for Stoke. Stoke really should be winning this match, but obviously there's negatives to it as well. There's negative stats going into it, and one of the things I talked about last week was how bad Stoke are at game management and how bad they are at coming back from a goal down. They're also pretty terrible against um, oppositions who are good uh, coming from a goal down, as Liverpool did at the weekend. Stoke have lost 17 points from winning positions. That's the second worst record in the Premier League. And in Marco Silva's hull, they are really good at coming back from a goal down. They've, they've got nine points since he was appointed, and that's the, uh, the best record for, for points gained from losing positions. And the last time Hull won an away match was against Stoke uh, in the Cup. Uh, again, uh, against the Premier League opposition that was their last win against the Premier League opposition and into that match Stoke's record was four consecutive losses preceded by a draw and coming into this match Stoke's record is four consecutive losses preceded by a draw it really isn't looking good for Stoke at the weekend moving on to some of the things that that you guys have asked uh, so I asked you to ask some stats based questions in the comments and a few of you have uh, Summon Dark 8600 asked for me to use more expected goal stats. So I'm going to try and explain expected goals. So what we have here is what's referred to as an expected goals plot or XG, uh, that, an XG plot. That's what is short for expected goals. And expected goals is it's it's an it's taking all of the circumstances that surround a shot and using those to give the shot. Uh, a likelihood of how likely it is to go in so sort of things like how quick the ball's traveling whether or not the the player has dribbled past someone how many passes there were in the build-up to it um, and you use those numbers to create a number between zero and one uh, uh, the closer to one it is the more likely it is to be a goal the more expected it is to be a goal and as you can see here um, this plot shows shows when the the team's total xG rises. So as you can see, with John Walters is first coming just before forty five minutes, that was Stoke's clearest chance. That was that was the clearest chance of the match. And what this this shows is actually that that Stoke were quite unlucky to lose, and it was a really good performance. And Stoke missed some 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 strong chances, um, and Liverpool scored two. Well, one very very good unexpected goal um so yeah that that is xg i'll try and explain it more as i use it more in the channel and john mahoney asked um to see some stats for stoke under hughes with steven and zonzi and without steven and zonzi so what these numbers are suggesting is that steven and zonzi hasn't been that big of a loss uh, statistically for stoke We've only averaged about 0.1 points per game worse without him, which averages out to about only four game, uh, four points a season. What we, we are really bad at is losing more without Nzonzi and conceding a lot more goals, um, as you can see there. But maybe Nzonzi's loss hasn't had as big of an impact on the, um, on the stats as most would expect it to. One of the worries that's been at the forefront of every Stoke fan's mind is, are we at risk of going down? And the stats are somewhat comforting. It's looking very unlikely that Stoke are going to go down. Now, this graph uses XG to calculate odds of, uh, odds of where people are going to finish. And this one is focused on how likely teams are to get relegated. So as you can see, Sunderland and Middlesbrough are clearly out at the top and are extremely likely to be going down. Thankfully, though, Stoke are somewhere right at the bottom in that in that cluster of Leicester and Burnley and now Crystal Palace, somewhere around 0% of chance of relegation, according to XG. Now, obviously, that isn't a guarantee that we won't go down, 
but it is certainly very promising and very reassuring. As well as XG suggesting that we aren't going to go down, if we look at the, the points that 17th place has finished on in the past five seasons, 39, 38, 36, 39, 37, that all sort of suggests that Stoke only really need one more win to stay safe. But there is a slight concern that with our next two games coming against Hull and Swansea, that they are the two teams really fighting it out for that third relegation spot. And if we lose to both of them, we really will be dragged down into something horrible. So that's the end of the stat show for this week. Uh, again, not a very cheery episode. Um, make sure you leave a comment if you've got any questions in the bottom. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to Bear Pit TV. Go on, Stoke.